Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn Digital Image Processing Unit 1 Short Answer Type Question and Answer and this is a revision class for you guys. In this, we are covering Unit 1 means Digital Image Fundamentals Short Answer Type Question and Answer. Okay, let's begin. In this, your first question is What is a pixel? Answer is here two definition of pixels are of pixel are available first one pixel is the smallest individual element of a digital image okay means pixel se chota koi element aapke digital image mein nahi ho sakta hai pixel is the one of the smallest individual element of a digital image every pixel has a particular location and brightness okay now next second type of definition is a digital image is composed of a finite number of elements each of which has a particular location or value these elements are referred to as pixels or image elements or picture elements or pixels okay i hope it's clear next question define digital image answer is digital image is defined as two dimensional light intensity function f of x and y okay x and y here denote spatial coordinates okay x and y are spatial coordinates the amplitude or value of f any point x and y is called intensity or gray value or brightness of the image at that point okay next question what are the steps involved in in digital image processing dip se bhi question aa sakta hai so answer is the steps involved in dip are first one image acquisition second one pre processing third one segmentation next one representation and description and next one recognition and interpretation okay next question list out the categories of digital storage first one is short term storage for use during processing second one online storage for relatively fast recall third one archival storage for infrequent access okay so day three are categories of digital storage next question what is dynamic range answer is the dynamic range of value spanned by the gray scale is called dynamic range of an image will have high contrast if the dynamic range is high and image image will have digital image processing is defined as the process of analyzing and manipulating digital images using digital computer okay next question what are the types of connectivity answer is they are first one four connectivity second one eight connectivity and third one m connectivity okay m connectivity stands for mixed connectivity next question what the formulas for calculating d4 and d8 distance answer is d4 distance means city block distance for example is defined by d4 p comma q is equal to mod of x minus s plus mod of y minus t x and y here is special types of coordinates now d8 distance means trace board distance for example okay is defined by d8 it's included p comma q is equal to maximum of mod x minus s and mod of y minus t okay where x and y and s and t are the coordinates of p and q pixel respectively okay here p and q are pixels okay next question what is geometric transformation answer is transformation is used to alter the coordinates description of image the basic geometric transformation are first one image translation second one scaling and third one image rotation next question define brightness answer is brightness of an object is the perceived luminance of the surround two object with different surroundings would have identical luminance but different brightness okay next question define 
luminance answer is luminance gives a measure of the amount of energy an observer perceives from a light source it's measured in lumens means lm okay and in black and white pictures better light spots have more luminance than the dark areas next question what are the types of light receptors answer is the two types of light receptors are first one cones and second one rods in this cones cones functionalities are first one cones are 6 to 7 million numbers of cones in each eye okay second functionality is located central portion of the eye called for phobia and highly sensitive to color okay third one is each cone connected to its nerve and cone visible is called photopoic or bright light vision okay so they all are functionality of cones is में से कहीं से भी आपसे कुछ भी मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन आंसर आ सकता है इस फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन नाउ फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ रोड्स इन दिस सेवेंटी फाइव टू वन फिफ्टी मिलियन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर रेटिनल सरफेस सेकेंड वन इज रोड्स कनेक्टेड टू ए सिंगल नर्व हैज नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन कलर विजन थर्ड वन सेंसिटिव टू लो लेवल्स ऑफ एल्यूमिनेशन एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज रोड विजन इज कॉल्ड स्कोटोपिक और डिम लाइट विजन okay next question define subjective brightness and brightness adaptation answer is in subjective brightness is defined as the intensity as perceived by the human vision system and in brightness adaptation the human vision the human visual system can operate only from scotopic to glare limit it cannot operate over the range simultaneously it accomplishes the large variation by changes in its overall intensity and interpreting the impressive dynamic range is called brightness adaptation okay next question what are hue and saturation answer is hue is a color attribute that describes a pure color this is predominant spectral color of the received light the color of any object is distinguished by its hue or tint the green leaves have green hue and and red tomatoes have red hue different hues result from different wavelengths of spectral radiation and are perceived as such by the set of cones in retina okay saturation is the spectral purity of the color light since single hue colors occur rarely alone that indicates the amount of other color present the saturation may be taken as an indication of how little the color is diluted by white a fully saturated color has no white okay for example vivid green so hue plus saturation is equal to chrominance means chroma and chrominance does not contains brightness information okay next question what is meant by color model very important a color model also called color space or color system is to facilitate the specification of colors in some standards generally accepted way in science a color model is a specification of 3d coordinates means three dimensional coordinate system and a subspace within the system where each color is represented by a single point okay next question list out the hardware oriented color models answer is the hardware oriented color models are first one rgb model second one cmy model third one yiq model and fourth one is hsi model okay next question define sampling and quantization answer is sampling is digitizing the coordinate value x and y of the analog continuous image quantization is digitizing the amplitude value okay next question define trapped quantization answer is if gray labels in a certain range occur frequently while others occur rarely the quantization label are finely spaced in this range and coarsely spaced outside of it this method is called tapered quantization and it's very important 
मोस्ट ऑफ द चांसेस है इसे आपको एक वन टू टू न्यूमेरिकल मिल जाए इसी टॉपिक से तो प्लीज आप इसको अच्छे से कवर कर लीजिएगा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लिस्ट आउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ टू डी फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके सो दे आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ टू डी फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू डायमेंशनल फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके फर्स्ट वन सेपरेबिलिटी नेक्स्ट वन ट्रांसलेशन थर्ड वन प्रियोडिसिटी एंड कंजुकेट सिमेट्री नेक्स्ट वन रोटेशन नेक्स्ट वन distributivity and scaling next one average value next one laplacian and next one convolution and correlation and next one is sampling okay so they are our nine properties about 2d fourier transformation okay next question list out the properties of forward transformation kernel answer is the kernel is also called on basis function the properties of kernels are first one separable and second one is symmetry okay separable and symmetry are the properties of transformation kernel the forward transformation kernel is said to be separable if g in bracket x by u and b so g x by u b is equal to g1 x comma u multiply g2 y comma v okay and uh, the forward transformation kernel is symmetric if g1 is functionally equal to g2 so g x by u comma b is equal to g1 x comma u multiply g1 y comma b okay next question what is called separable image transform answer is If the two-dimensional transform can be computed by first computing 1D transform along each row of the input image, and then computing a one-dimensional transform along each column of of this intermediate result, then the kind of transformation is called separable image transformation. Okay, next question. List out the properties of singular value decomposition. Answer is the properties of singular value decomposition are first one unitary SVD transform and second one best approximation of input image. Next one, next question. What is the need for transformation and need for transform? Answer is first need is fast computation. Okay. For example, convolution versus multiplication for filter with wide support. Okay. Second need is conceptual insights for various image processing. In this, for example, spatial frequency information, smooth, moderate change, fast change, etc. Okay. And the next one, obtain transform data is measurement. In this, for example. blood images radiology images medical and astrophysics okay and fourth need is for efficient storage and transmission we need transform okay important one is next question what are the application of transform first application is image enhancement in with the help of dft second one is image segmentation means dwt And third one is image compression (DCT) and DWT. Okay. Next question. List out the properties of two-dimensional, two-dimensional TFT. Answer is the properties of two-dimensional TFTs are first one separability, next one translation, third one conjugate symmetry, next one rotation, next one circle con convolution, next one correlation and question number 31 is what is image translation and scaling okay so translation and scaling are the properties of 2d dft dft stands for digit discrete fourier transform okay so in included translation image translation is the process of shifting the origin and in scaling Image scaling is the process of resizing a digital image. Scaling is a non-trivial process that involves a trade-off between efficiency, smoothness, and sharpness. Okay, guys. Now let's find out this lecture. See you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And guys, 
आज का लेक्चर आपको कैसा लगा है आप चाहते हैं मैं आपको यूनिट सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ का भी इसी टाइप से रिविजन कराऊँ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग में सो so प्लीज़ मुझे कमेंट करके बताइएगा एंड मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर आर ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ऑन माई चैनल काइंडली चेक इट एंड विश यू वेरी वेरी ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन